and welcome to a review of the Guitar Hero Air Rocker. Um, now, admittedly the packaging's really bent, but um, it's still all intact. Anyway, chances are if you're a Guitar Hero fan and a fan of really weird kind of physical things, then you probably have heard of this. Um, it came out a few years ago and I've had it for a few years and completely forgotten about it. Um, I'll take it out, well, I'll take it out now, I'll show you. Basically, what it comes down to is you get the amp, which as a guitar amp would do, amplifies the sound, and you get a belt buckle. Now you put the belt buckle on your belt, as you do with the amp, and then, using one of two magnetic guitar picks you get with it, um, you strum in front of this sensor and then it'll play a sound. Now I'll demonstrate in a bit. Um, so this is the basic pack. This is the, you know, you get the amp, the little cable for it and this. Also, um, well, no, actually no, that's it for this. Also on the back it mentions there are, um, I'm not sure if you can see here, but there are also add-ons to it. Um, I ordered two of four of them. I have the 80s pack and the heavy metal pack. I do not, however, have the punk or alternative pack, but I'm sure they're as good as these. So with the add-on packs, you get another belt. That's the heavy metal version of the belt. And this is the 80s pack, very Scorpions-esque there. If you look, this is Lars Ulrich um, in profile for the heavy metal one. And whilst that doesn't actually show any characters, that very much looks like Izzy Sparks' colour design that he has in the games. Um, also, the Scorpion is pretty cool. But those aren't what plays the music. What plays the music are these. Now, underneath they look sort of like SD cards. As you can see. Um, which you slot into the side there, which aren't easy to get out, unfortunately. Um, so this is the one you get with a normal one, obviously. It's just the something something rock star. Um, right, okay. Well, I'll go find somewhere where it actually, like, it's easy to stand up and the lighting won't be bad, and I'll be back. Okay, right. Well, I have it all set up here. As you see, there's part of the belt here, and this is the... Um, thing they both touch. Obviously, this you can use the different belt buckles. This doesn't make a difference. So you plug it in here. You turn it on on the side. Now there are three options here, as you can see. The middle one is track. The volume all obviously, as I'll show you. Or you can change it. So it's quiet. But I'll turn it up so everyone can hear. Now, uh, the middle one changes tracks, you get five like tracks that are actual songs and then five like jams that they made up, which are like riffs. And then this one... Is Iron Man by Black Sabbath. Well, that's the other one. One of the two. Um, as you can see, the sound clips are okay, but they don't really flow very well. Um, it's fairly easy tech to just go... The minor problem in the fact that the sounds don't really play that well is sort of you need to know the exact length of the sound clip so that you can't just strum every five seconds because sometimes you get a sound which is really long and then there'll be even shorter ones like this. That's like a second and a half, whereas other ones are five. So you've really got to like play this over and over and over until you actually get a good thing. Um, so that's Iron Man. That's Smoke in the Water by Deep Purple. I don't think I really need to go into this. Deep Purple is possibly the most basic song ever. Yeah, everyone loves it for some reason. Oh, then this is Ace of Spades. As you can see, it, uh, they, they're not perfect. Then there is... Uh, 
Yeah, that was you've already got me covered by Van Halen, originally by Hinks, I think, possibly. Um, again, that doesn't really work very well. That's more than a feeling by Boston. Um, again, that doesn't really work. My main problem with this is that, it, well, obviously they can't store the entire cracks on this because I'm assuming the technology is really basic. But like the song really does jump, so you'll get like the main riff and then it'll jump to the solo, which is like two minutes into the song, as opposed to the riff which is like at the start. So it really throws you. You can get it straight sort of. And I think the next one. I think that's another of the jams made by, I don't even think Harmonix made them. I think it was the people who made this rather than the guitar hero developers. Uh, they sound okay, but I don't know what they actually sound like in normal speaking because you've really got to change the strumming thing. Um, Anyway, before I move on to the other ones, um, I'll just say that um, basically all I'm going to do now is change the cards in there because I don't really want to have to go through all the shit of changing stuff again. Uh, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, I have the 80s rock pack now. Um, let's turn this on and I apologise to all those who enjoy 80s rock. This is probably the out of time, so I'm really bad. I don't know what that was. Genuinely don't know what that was. Um, if you do, put in the comments, maybe that was one of the jams but I think when you put her in and turn her on it reverts back to it goes through the first five famous songs that they've done then the five added bonus like jams so I think that was meant to be a real song I think I recognise that, but I don't know where from. Uh, no? Wrong one. I don't know what that was either. That may have been it. Maybe I just don't know these songs. I'm assuming these songs are meant to be from the Guitar Hero franchise though. And this came out around the time of Guitar Hero 2 or 3. I've played every track on 2 and 3. I don't know what these are. I think those are meant to be Round and Round by Rat. I think. That's literally the first one I recognise, and this is four tracks in, that's pretty bad. of classical songs, I think. I don't know. 
I think these are the free form. fairly easy to get out once you like angle it right on your belt uh, and it goes in that way. These may be more recognisable. It's definitely a song. It's a real, real song by a band. Anyway, that was Symphony of Destruction by Megadeth. Uh, I was actually quite happy because I actually got that to work and it sounded kind of like the song. This one next one I think you realise. Children in the Grave by Ozzy Osbourne, I don't think it was. Really, uh, I think this is the last one. Don't know what that was. I think that's a basic metal riff. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, so that was all of them. Well, all of the three packs. I would buy the alternative and punk pack. I don't care how much they are because I really don't want this anymore. Um, it's a decent thing. It's like something cool to show at parties, I guess. Maybe if you like hide it under your t-shirt, you're just like, yeah man, wish you could like play Bark at the Moon. Oh, wait a second! And then everyone will be like, what the fuck are you doing, you weirdo? Um, yeah, okay, pros and cons. Pros, they sound fairly good, the uh, amplifier's fairly loud, and, you know, you can sort of... It sounds like the actual thing. Um, and, you know, it's sort of effortless-ish. Cons, you look like a twat when playing it. That's just straight up fact. You can hold your hands as if you're playing a guitar, um, but, I mean, for most guitars, you don't even play them there anyway. I could have switched this around, I could have put the amp there, I guess, and sort of it would have been more realistic, but it does make you look weird. You don't know where to put your hands most of the time, and you could quite literally just sit down and play it. And so, it's sort of, I don't know, I mean, chances are, if, you, if you're on YouTube, you could probably find, you know, an air guitar video competition-y thing, and you could probably just, you know, sort of we're getting more enjoyment from that than you would with this, really. Um, probably cheap on Amazon, I guess, if you want this as a 
gift for someone, but I mean, I'm really into Guitar Hero, and I personally don't think this is very much worth the money. Um, but, you know, it's a novelty, it's in years to come, it may be of, you know, some value, because there's an oddity. Uh, Licensing-wise, this is all over the place, I think. Uh, you know, but, there is one better alternative to this, and that is... Is this an actual fucking guitar? Because if you're actually going to bother with the strumming thing anyway, chances are you're not going to want to play like a video game. Well, with Guitar Hero, you will actually just want to do it in a virtual world so you can, you know, play the whole song. If all you're going to do is play a riff or so on a bit of a solo, just buy an actual guitar. They're fairly cheap. This, well, this wasn't particularly cheap, but, you know. But if you're really that interested in playing guitar, if you've actually bought one of these and you don't own a guitar and you're a Guitar Hero fan, then you're clearly not very motivated or sort of... It just doesn't make sense. Um, I did this partly so I can show off my Firebird, um, because I'm probably not going to review it. Maybe I will. I don't know. I don't usually review guitars. Um, but yeah, I mean, all in all, the Guitar Hero Rocker thing is okay. It makes you look weird. Probably only show it to friends once in a party when you're really drunk, and then they'd be like, yeah, dude, that's not cool. Um, but, you know, buy her on Amazon if it's really, really cheap, I guess. If you're really a fan of playing MIDI tracks of a certain song for about half a minute and then playing them all over again. Uh, so, yeah, so thanks for watching. Okay, I had the idea, hey, this would be cool, what if I just play it behind some stuff? Try it with my acoustic guitar. Doesn't work. Works. Not if this is in front of it.